Hey, I'm in Kilkenny. My road show for the Food Academy continues all the way down through the country. I'm on my way to a little village outside the city called Bennett's Bridge to meet some master bakers. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Very well indeed. What a magnificent well, place you live in. Welcome to Bennett's Bridge. Seven generations dealing with the same produce, making it over hundreds of years. That's it. incredible. Yeah. And the technology that's across the river in the mill, and it's in your family for a long time, has that changed much over the years? It hasn't. The actual basic technology hasn't changed. I mean, machines are a bit brighter and made of modern material, but the actual sort of physics behind it hasn't changed. There's a lot of shaking. There's a lot of shaking. There's a lot of gravity. Fill my own bag of quality. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about that, Bill. 10.3 kilos of absolute Kilkenny gold. That's all for my kitchen. Rob, how's it going? Very good, Hector, and you? I had a great morning with your dad. Excellent. And yeah. now I'm with his son in the kitchen. That's right, yeah. We're going to try and show you some baking today. This is what I love, and I didn't know this. I didn't know that this, it was this easy. Step one, mix. Step two, tin. Step three, bake. On the back of the packet. And you telling me that's it? Just tip in the milk and mix it up and straighten the tin. If you're in a hurry, fresh bread straight away, you can't go wrong. Add the salt and the bicarb and just sieve that in just to make sure all the lumps have gone out of it. So just use the whisk to mix all that and combine it together. It's really important when you're making soda bread there is to make sure that the bicarb and the salt are thoroughly mix. mixed the whole way through. Otherwise, you're not going to get the leavening that you need. Step four, and we're going to put in a big teaspoon of honey. So we've got 440 grams of buttermilk in there. I think that's looking good. Okay. If you're following the instructions on the back of the packet, we are finished making that bread. We can tip it straight into the tin and off we go. But today, I think we should freestyle a little bit and add in some nuts and seeds just to make a nice point of difference. Soda bread is our native bread. It's what we love eating here in this country, but it's fantastically versatile. So you can, if, you, if you like something, if you like salt, sultanas, if you like walnuts, you can add those in. Uh, if you like chia seeds or, or any goodies like that, you can just pop it in there and it's gonna work really well with it. So we're just gonna tip the dough out into the tin. A little bit sticky, this bit. Mm -hmm. It's pretty decent already. It's lovely. Ah, dead go again. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for breakfast, perfect for a light lunch. Two slices of that and a nice salad, you can't go wrong. Thank you. Well done. Excellent baking. Superb. What a lovely morning here in Bennett's Bridge in County Kilkenny on my road trip with the Food Academy. Look at that, father and son, seven generation. Now that's what you call a proper family business. Putching on toast? Now there's an interesting combination. Join me next time on the Food Academy Roadshow.